Alright, let's cover another skyscraper, but this time let's cover one that's slightly non-traditional and we'll also cover actually finding one rather than me just showing you where it's at. Um, one thing I like about using a program is, you know, time is, is valuable and when you're sitting there trying to find stuff that you know you can spot, I just prefer personally after doing tons of Sudokus on paper, I prefer using a program because it helps me to get through them faster now and it helps me to be able to spot things um, more quickly and get through puzzles quicker and maybe learn new techniques that much faster because I'm not wasting time on, on stuff I already know how to do. One cool thing about a program is you can filter numbers. Like if I click uh, on the filter for number one it'll show me where the ones exist and if you can see here right off the bat there's only two boxes that contain ones and four total cells. You can do the same thing with all the other numbers so if we're trying to go off of what I taught before with a skyscraper um, again we're looking for four cells so we're looking for either two rows or two columns where you have only two cells possible. This would also be a good chance for me to show where you want to be careful that you don't make mistakes. So something I should have probably mentioned before, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't even say probably, I should have mentioned before that when you're trying to find a skyscraper or an X-wing you're going to be looking for four different cells that appear in four different boxes. So you know like here I can see there's a uh, two twos in this row and there's two twos in this row and it kind of looks like a mini skyscraper but for one it's not um, they're in two different boxes and that's it but also what would you gain by finding these right now there's no other numbers that you can eliminate so this is not a skyscraper uh, another one you could see is like here is something that would more closely resemble a skyscraper but it still doesn't so you have two twos in this column and you have two twos in this column but these two are in the same box also if you look there's no um, numbers that like this two could not be ruled out by two of these cells from these other columns because they're not two cells aren't able to see a possibility in another cell. So let's let's just move on here. We'll look at um, another... Well, I'm filtering on threes right now. Um, I don't see anything in there. Here I'm filtering on fours. And I'm not spotting any uh, columns or rows where there's only two numbers and the possibility of forming a skyscraper. Now here I'm looking at the fives and I've actually spotted a, a skyscraper here um, and it's definitely a slightly non-traditional shape. Before I uh, click on it I'll let you just have an extra second to kind of look there. You're, what you're looking for again is a column with only two, two, two columns with only two numbers or two rows with only two numbers. So in this instance here, what, what I'm spotting right now is here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight these. So I'm looking at uh, this row here has two fives and this row here has two fives. Now before I go on um, I'll show, let me clear the formatting here. Some people might see this and go well, wait a minute why isn't there a skyscraper then in this formation? Like why isn't this a skyscraper where this is the base and here's your top? But remember, we're looking for 
two columns or two rows where only two numbers exist. And right now there's a, a number in another uh, five in this one, so you can't form a skyscraper that way. But again, back to this one, you can see that there are two fives in this row, and there's two fives in this row. And this would be your base, and here's the top of the skyscraper. Also notice that each of these cells is in a, a different box, so each was in a unique box. So now that we've spotted it, let's see what we can determine. And let's go back to the previous method I showed you. Let's start with the lower side of the rooftop, and let's look down that at other fives we notice. And here's one that's already filtered with my coloring um, method there. So here's a five that this cell sees, and this cell can also see it. So this one here could be eliminated as a possibility. Now let's go to the very top of the roof there, and we're going to look this direction because we want to match up with this cell, anything that these two can see. So if I look up, here's a five here that this cell can see, and it's also visible by this cell. So there's another example right there where a five could not exist. So we can go ahead and highlight both of those cells and exclude five. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off all my coloring and now you can see we've spotted a couple of singles from that. And it looks like in this scenario we did end up with the skyscraper actually solving the rest of the puzzle for us. So again you can see another example right there of how Spotting a skyscraper and leveraging it can solve the rest of the puzzle if you're stuck at that point. Okay, I noticed another, on one of my previous patterns there, I noticed uh, another skyscraper that could have been pointed out that was missed and other people might have noticed it. So I want to um, point this one out too so that other people will be able to spot these more easily when they watch these videos. Um, before we had mentioned that this was our skyscraper and we were able to eliminate this five but there's also one other skyscraper that I didn't notice right away the first time if you look at this column here there's two fives possible there and if you look at this column there's two fives possible and this also forms a skyscraper there's the base and here's our rooftops and this cell is visible by the two rooftops so this is also a spot where you could eliminate a five it's not super important since this puzzle was pretty much already unlocked once we determined this one could be a three but it's just it's good to at least spot variations of them so those have both been eliminated and now the puzzle can be unlocked the rest of the way. And you can see right there is where the other one was that we had marked off, but just wanted to point out that other skyscraper that I missed the first time around. 